so challenges. So it's not all it's not all glory and happiness. There are challenges to running CSAs. Um, and some of them are the same as the benefits. Uh, growing a variety of products can be a challenge. You really do need to make sure that uh, your, your, your produce is diverse because if, if you only end up growing four or five really good things, like you know, your carrots are good, your tomatoes are good, and your lettuce is good, I mean, if people are getting a bag or a box every week for 16 weeks, they're going to want to see some diversity in there. So you really need to make sure that you are, you are growing a good, variety, a good uh, diversity. Profits are not always adequate, and that's part of the reality of CSA and of, any, of, any, of farming in general. And I think um, I was reading some studies, and this does definitely apply to us as well, that the share prices often do cover you know, the seeds and all the, 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 you know, the tools and things you're using for the season. Um, but often we're not able to cover all our capital costs or all some of our fixed costs uh, by, through the shares. So, I mean, some, some CSA farms do and have. There's a CSA farm in uh, Hamilton, uh, Plan B, which is the biggest CSA farm I know. They're doing 380 shares. Which is insane. I, I mean, they work. They're, they work like crazy. They hire a ton of staff to do it, but but they cover their costs, and that's how they do it. Um, and then organized, organizational aspects of running a CSA are time intensive. As a farmer, you need to have a ton of new skills. You need to learn a ton of new skills to run a successful CSA. Everything from uh, management expertise, learning how to do, uh, you know how to do a diversity of crops. Learning how to do staggered planting, so you know that on my, on my first week I'm going to have lettuce, on my fifth week I'm going to have lettuce, on my eighth week I'm going to have lettuce, and knowing that you're going to have something to give every week. Um, just doing the processing, doing the marketing. I mean, as a CSA farmer, we're doing everything. So we're finding our customers, we're doing customer relations, so there's people skills involved there. And a lot of that can be really challenging, even when you think you know what you're doing, you think you're good at it doing our budgets, doing our collecting checks and writing receipts and all this stuff that, uh, you know, when we started farming, we didn't know this was all going to be part of it, but it's, it's a whole, whole skill set that we're learning as we go. Challenges to members, there's a commitment, you know, you can't just try it through two or three days, through two or three weeks and then pull out, you're really committed for the whole, the long haul because you paid your money. You're accepting a risk. If we, last, last, this, last season, I mean, uh, probably everywhere in the Maritimes had, a, had, we had a, one of our worst seasons ever, just because it was so wet in the spring that we lost a lot of our, we lost all our squash, all our melons, and a lot of our, our customers were saying, oh, where's our melons? And we had to explain to them that, well, you know, we, we lost them, like we didn't, we didn't, uh, weren't able to produce any this year. And so it was an education piece, but uh, they, you know, they accepted the risk that came with that. Uh, Open-mindedness to, to what's in the bag. They don't get to choose. We do have an exchange box, but it's limited. Uh, they also don't know what's going to be in their box every, every week, so they have to just, they have to trust that, or they have to, they have to be open-minded to whatever it is. And often I'll get calls like midweek saying, you know, is that a beet or a radish? <laughs> and I'll be like, I don't know, I gotta go check what we put in there. But, you know, so a lot of people, they, they're getting new stuff they never tried, which is, again, a great advantage, but can also be a, a disadvantage. And then participation. I mean, even uh, the farmer-run CSAs do require minimum participation. Um, we, we ask people to come to the farm at least once. We ask people to come to do their pickups. Uh, we do our pickups once a week, and people have to actually come out and get it. We don't do home delivery. So, so there's a, people have to be invested in some way, which you know most people are happy with, but it does become trying sometimes. 